Is that cool or what? I'm in Tilden, Texas, in the Diamond J Ranch in a 65 Corvette Stingray convertible. Oh my God. Greg, this place is over the top. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Dave, I got the opportunity to build the house of my dreams and the place of my dreams for retirement in Tilden, Texas. Greg, I gotta ask you, tell me about that bar upstairs. Well, Dave, it's a 2,000 square foot old western honky-tonk with pool tables, jukebox, and a lot of wood grain. We've even had some parties up there. It's a full-fledged honky-tonk upstairs. Greg, it looks like this place is modeled after Churchill Downs. Tell me about that. Yes, Dave, I even put three cuplas on top of the roof and trained one horse here at the ranch, and I even have a racetrack in the back. And how many years you been doing this? About 48 years, Dave. So you're new at it, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've come here and we've had some great times. I really enjoy watching you train horses. Well, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. You know, Greg, this is an amazing vehicle. Well, it's, uh, it's past amazing to me. And I had one when I was 18 years old. I always wanted another. I was going to drive it. Wait a minute. Greg, when you bought this car, this was going to be your driver, huh? Yes, it was, Dave, and it was, it's clean, I can't drive. Not too many of these, huh? Not a lot of them, Dave. I had one when I was 18, and I got a chance to get another one. And Corvettes are my babies. And then I have a small collection of classic cars also. Wait a minute, what's your personal driving machine? Well, I drive a T06 Corvette, Dave. Nice, you really love Corvettes. I sure do, Dave. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Dave. The I'm paint looks like it. it's wet. I know, it's beautiful. Greg, this is an amazing Thunderbird classic. Yes, Dave, it's a 1956 Baby Bird Continental restored by Byron Casonos. I can see your passion for cars. I love them. WideOpenSportsman.com Have you subscribed to the Wide Open? Do it. Roger that. Today on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we're going to hunt the mighty javelina. We're going to show you how to pattern animals, how to set up a pop-up blind, and how to make the hunt come together with a bow. One thing I like to do every time I arrive in a new ranch is shoot some practice arrows into a target. It does two things. Make sure you know your equipment's dialed in, the sights are still on track, and it builds your confidence. Today I'm going to show you the technique that I use to set up a portable blind. These are called pop-up blinds. They cost about $150. You can set them up almost anywhere you want. I've identified a game trail. It comes right out through here. Definitely patterned animals moving through. So first thing I do is I clear an area. 
so I can put my blind back up in the cover. Then I make sure that I know where my shooting zone's gonna be. And I get in the blind and look out and see what I've got. What is my vantage point? I get in the back of the blind, draw back, make sure I like where I have it. What I've already done is I've already pulled out a bunch of debris from the native area right here. So I've got my bigger lumber here, I've got my finer material here, and I've got my medium or coarse material here. Let me show you how we put this thing together. These little pop-up blinds come with small stakes like this. They're designed to put at the foot all four corners of the main blind itself. What I like to do is also buy some heavier duty stakes, put those with a tether that has a tightening device on the rope, put those out and really anchor the blind down because we've got some wind today and it may not be windy when you anchor it, but it could build up. So I get these stakes in the ground I put my rope on it and it's got a nice tightening device. Tightens right up and I can really put some torque on it so that I make sure that I'm tied down. One of the most important things you have to consider is your main chair. If you're gonna sit on something, it's gotta be the right height for the window. So I've got a chair that I selected to fit perfectly for this pop-up blind. Next, I've got a smaller chair to use to hold my bow so it's not sitting in the dirt. So that's gonna go in my pop-up blind. Another thing a lot of people don't take into account is to bring some heavy-duty towels. You can put those on the floor of the blind, makes it quieter, and also you're not getting dirt over all your gear. If you're like me, I always have a camera, so I bring a camera and I've got my main gear box. I have everything in here that I might need in the field. You've probably been wondering why I'm wearing war paint. When I hunt in a pop-up blind, the inside of the blind is entirely black. I never wear camo. I wear black. Black gloves, black shirt, black face in the back of the blind. My light timber is very important. The blind has these little tabs at the top and I can put my light timber in here. This is my medium-sized lumber. I just drag it over. Start stacking it up. I got high wind, I got light drizzle, I got this bad boy tied down and covered up. I'm ready to hunt. Well, the hard work is done. And now let's take a look at how I'm set up in the blind. I'm back here in the very back of the blind on my main chair. I've got some backup arrows right here. I've got my bow with an arrow in the rest, ready to go on my chair. I've got my accessories right here off to the side, and I've got my carpet laid out. It's now time to hunt. Well, as you can tell, we're on the Diamond J Ranch near Tilden, Texas. Havelina hunting coming your way. Don't change that dial. WideOpenSportsman.com Have you subscribed to the Wide Open? If you haven't, you better get at it. Subscribe today. Roger that. Fred Kirby, my main cameraman, is heading up to his tower blind. Fred is set up with an HD camera with a side monitor and a two-way whisper mode radio system so we can communicate. On today's episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we're javelina hunting in South Texas. So let's go over some tips. Did you know in Texas, javelina are classified as a game animal and they may be legally harvested with a hunting license? Now, some counties require a season, so take a look at the rules.
Havilina are members of the Picari family. Now there are actually three species of Picaris that range from the southwestern United States south to central South America. The only species found here in the United States is the collared Picari, or Havilina. Javelinas are not pigs, they're not feral hogs, and they're not wild boars. The confusion started as soon as European explorers arrived in the New World. The Javelina is native to the Western Hemisphere, while pigs developed in the Eastern Hemisphere. Javelina have long held an undeserved reputation for veracity. They have poor eyesight and will often remain around humans longer than any other wildlife. Now keep in mind, when they're concerned, they can defend themselves with their sharp canine teeth or tusks. Javelinas are herbivores, or plant eaters, but they're also frugivores, or fruit eaters. They eat a variety of fruits, tumbers, rhizomes, bulbs, acorns, grass, green shoots, mesquite beans, stems of prickly pears. Well, you get it. They like it all. Javelinas can breed in any month of the year, but most births occur in May, June, or July. This may be because of the summer rainy season. The average litter is two, but occasionally they have as many as five. From the left? Okay, they're coming in. I see two of them. There's three of them, but I see two. I'm gonna shoot the one closest to me. You take it, Dave. Whenever you're ready, I'm on him. He's looking at me. I took the shot. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Dave, here we go. Havelina on that left trail. You got him? From the left? 
I see two of them. There's three of them, but I see two. I'm going to shoot the one closest to me. You take it, Dave. Whenever you're ready, I'm on him. He's looking at me. Got him. Awesome. My first javelina with a bow. Let's go. You take the shot whenever you got it. Yeah, Dave. Nice shot. Today, javelina hunting South Texas with a bow. We'll give him about 20 minutes and then we'll go find him. Yeah, Dave. Nice shot. Woo! Dave. Nice, buddy. Yeah, Fred's in my ear telling me congratulations. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, too. We had a cool setup. Fred's in a deer blind, as you can see, about 75 yards behind me. He was able to pattern these animals, see them coming in. We came here a day before and watched them. They come through here, so we put some corn under this feeder. We set up this pop-up blind. We put it back in the brush. We're hiding here, and here they come. I got my first javelina with a bow. That was textbook awesome. Our new little toy here, our little two-way radio. So Dave and I just uh, picked these up just the other day. And uh, this is a new tool that you're gonna see us using a lot this year. Woo! Dang! South Texas and bow hunting with Dave. Gotta love it. Gotta be around here somewhere. There he is. Nice. All right, there he is. There he is. We got him with a bow, but I'll tell you this, these are ornery animals. Get a stick here and just make sure he's expired. Yeah, touch him on the eyeball. That way, if he's alive, it would flinch. Let's check him out. Look at this javelina. My first javelina with a bow. I tell you what, you know, these animals are extremely dangerous. I don't know if you know this, but dogs, a lot of dogs have been killed by javelina because they'll chase them. They like that smell. They'll chase them down. But they have some serious teeth. And what they do is they just chomp on, on an animal uh, uh, multiple times. Just chomp, 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 chomp. And they'll rip and tear. They're very, very aggressive. So watch your dogs. A lot of them have been killed by javelina. Let's take a look at him and get my gloves on. Woohoo! He's a good size javelina. I bet he's pushing 50 pounds. But we got him with a bow today on wide open outdoor adventures. Let's take a look at our kill. Look at these tusks. Oh, look, he's missing one. They've got tusks on the top of the mouth and also on the bottom. And these are just voracious animals. They will chase you down and cut you bad. A little javelina here, about 50 pounds, on wide open outdoor adventures. It was a good hunt, good times. Javelina, South Texas style. Thanks for spending some time with us on today's Javelina Hunt in Tilden, Texas. Greg, where are we going next? Let's go on another wide open outdoor adventure. Let's go. Buckle your seatbelt. Oh, well, the way I drive.